to Decision 2023, where Election Day is fast approaching and folks are working to get out the vote. Especially in a predominantly Hispanic community on Houston's east side, we've got a live look from the Denver Harbor Park Community Center. This is the last week for early voting. For years, voter turnout here had been historically high. And now folks who track the numbers have noticed a troubling trend. Andy Sirota went digging for answers and discovered that perception has a lot to do with it. Denver Harbor is a community that's made of families and friends. We're a strong community. Carolyn Lopez is on a mission to strengthen her community's voice, where the vast majority of the residents are Hispanic. The general mentality of, the, of our voters is that they are saying, why should they vote? What changed and when did it change? Well, I believe that the community just continued to feel that they're underserved that people weren't hearing them. She's not taking on this quest alone. Try his neighbor. Renee Porras is pounding the pavement, reaching out to every corner of the neighborhood. Ruben. What's going on, buddy? How what you, you doing? What you got? Huh? Through Denver Harbor Cares, a grassroots nonpartisan organization the pair founded, the two hope to encourage people of all ages to vote. You're going out with a strategy. Yes, just to get people to be aware of what our issues are and what we have to do. And the first thing we have to do is vote. And I'm gonna go out there and knock on their doors and try to put a little anger and fear into them. And uh, hopefully that'll motivate even a couple of them more to vote. How much block walking do you plan on doing? Uh, as much as I physically possibly can. While there's a persistent perception that Latino voters in this community haven't been actively participating in the democratic process, Hector De Leon with the Harris County Clerk's Office says a closer look at the data tells a different story. The data actually shows a growth uh, in the Hispanic turnout when the Hispanic community is compelled to go out and vote, if they're motivated to go out and vote for a reason. In the decade's worth of data he shows us, the number of Spanish surname registered voters in the zip code that Denver Harbor is in steadily rose from more than 6,100 to 6,800 voters. Though turnout varies depending on who and or what was on the ballot. For example, the highest Spanish surname turnout was 21% in 2015 when Adrian Garcia ran for mayor. How do you change perception? Well, uh, I always say that, uh, that what we need to start doing is educating people to understand that when there's an election, you're electing folks who are gonna sit around the table and determine how the taxes that you contribute at every level of government are gonna be spent. De Leon says, aside from socioeconomic status being directly tied to Hispanic voter turnout, they also make up the youngest group of voters in Harris County. 55% are comprised by millennials and Gen Zs. So if the Hispanic vote is to increase, this group is very important to that objective. Just to go vote, that's all. We're asking people just to go vote. Carolyn and Renee, who've seen so much in their lifetime, know the power of the vote and see it as their responsibility to pass this knowledge on to the next generation. We hired some uh, college students, part-time college students, to help us to get try to get the word out. We have someone helping us with the newsletter. She now has put in her name to be a precinct chair. We have another individual that's helping us with the data. He just graduated from Yale. Tonight at 6, you'll meet that recent Yale University graduate and why he felt so compelled to return home, roll up his sleeves, and get to work. Plus, the impact these young volunteers hope to make as they try to make a difference in bridging that generation gap. Andy Sirota, KPRC 2 News.